In this value pack short comprehensive step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the pay to, to create this masterpiece. But before we go into more details about creating this, let's cover the fundamentals of the pen tool. Take the pen tool from your toolbar or click P. Now select part. Make sure the rubber band effect is selected. Now we are going to go and select each of these shapes from the rectangle to the triangle to the cycle. We'll go incrementally in difficulty so that we all move along and get the best out of this tutorial. So zoom in, take your pen tool, click at the edge. Now click on the other edge while holding shift to make sure the line is straight. Go around until you get to the point where you started. And then click on it to finalize the selection. Now right click and click on mix selection. Okay to make that shape. Simple as that. Now go on to select the triangle. The triangle, you don't need to hold the shift because it's because it will confine the selection to a straight line or a line at angle 45. So you just use your eye and just click on the edges to select the rectangle. You can see this is also very simple. Make selection by right clicking and clicking on make selection. You click OK, you can create a solid layer that will be confined to the selection you created and you can then change the color to whatever you desire. As simple as that. From here, we move on to the next shape, which is the cycle. And this shape will see how to turn this straight line into curves. So watch and see how easy this can be done. Now click a point at the edge of the cycle. Select the cycle. You create a point at the edge of the cycle. You now create another point somewhere else. And that should also be on the edge of the cycle. Something just equidistance from each other like the length of the selection should be slightly equal distance from each other now you hold alt and drag the point to create this curve the length of the angle point will determine how round or how flat the curve will be so the longer the angle point the more round the curve will be and the shorter the anchor point, the flatter the curve will be. Two important shortcut keys on your keyboard to take note of is the Alt key and the Control key. Why holding the Alt key? If you move the anchor point, you can see that you only affect or you only control one point of the anchor point. That is just one side of the curve giving you more control to refine your adjustment. If you hold the control key and move the anchor point to move the whole anchor point back and forth, left or right. And you can also use the control key to move the whole selection from one place to another. Another shortcut to take note of is the plus and the minus. So if you make any random shape or you make any desired shape you want, and you click on the minus key on your keyboard, the point will disappear. Like the minus key reduces the points and the plus key increases the points. So those are the most important shortcuts and those are the fundamentals of the curve go into the next project where we do the real stuff, where we do the exciting stuff, where we get the real job done. Go in to the glute because we are going to be cutting out the glute from the subject. So one trick here in more complex shape like this, it's easier you just create points close to themselves and just use the points to go around the curvatures. 
that will save you time from adjusting and adjusting with the other method just click as you can see me do here and when you find a place that is more round and more even in shape you just create a point two points at a longer distance and then you make the adjustment as required with that in mind we we'll just go around and complete the whole shape using just what we've already learned from the fundamentals consigning the hair here just keep watching the tutorial we'll show you how to easily remove the hair from the clothing that is remove the selections of the hair from the clothing it's a very simple trick that will be handy where i try to remove hair from the background where i try to remove hair from any of or your other selection you'll be doing just stick around the trick is very simple and i can't wait to show you that in this tutorial so go around and complete the selection When you are done, you zoom out, right click, and click on make selection. To make the selection softer, you increase the fade radius to at least two, and then you go and create a solid color adjustment. Change the color to whatever you feel desire is desirable. And when you are done with your selection, you click on OK. Now change the blending mode to multiply you can see now the shape and dimension is coming out we still use some other simple tricks to make the solid color adjustment look more realistic on the clothing so just keep watching the tutorial and see me do it so go on and reselect make other adjustments and make sure you are okay with the color you've chosen now you can see this rope she's holding on the hand we can easily max it out of the order selection by still using the pen tool and tracing around the rope easily since it's just almost like a straight line so click using what you already know and select the rope from the clothing and when you are done with the selection make selection as usual okay one the layer marks take your brush make sure your foreground is black and clean out or max out the solid color from the rope to retain its original color fit on screen you can use your brush to adjust the selection anywhere you you see that it's leaking out Once you are done with this, you can still change the color just to whatever you feel is right. And then the next thing is to enhance the dimension. Create a curves adjustment and on the curve you create a simple S curve to slightly increase the dimensionality of the overall image first of all then group this together and then we go on to our adjustment layer and create a layer a levels adjustment and then you increase the dimension by following the values i used here on screen or increasing the values that is the shadow the mid-tone or the highlights accordingly by compressing these values here you get more dimension added to the glute and make the overall stuff look more realistic don't worry about what you are seeing around the hair we'll be fixing that real soon now let's bring this artwork 
link in the description if you want to use it you can position it on her dress adjust accordingly when you are satisfied with your adjustment click on ok go to blending mode and choose linear bond and with that you can see the image or the artwork is now on. adjust the color to match because if you choose something like yellow it will make her his skin tone look more realistic and make the whole thing look better if you also change the color of the right top easy and fast using the hue saturation if you are unfamiliar with the hue saturation check the channel for videos that go in more depth about that so we still go around and make the selection and clean this off using what we already know from the previous steps so to clean this off you make sure you are on the max layer of the solid color use your patch tool to create a rough selection around where you want to apply or remove this effect now make sure after creating this you are on the layer below the solid layer which is now the background layer go to your color range and pick the dark color that is the darkest color click on ok to make this selection now go back to the layer max where we are going to max out the effects we have been applying from the hair so you easily make sure your foreground is black and then you paint over to remove this effect easy and fast this is magic i can use it in every other irregular shape that has maybe a solid color or a color that looks uniform in the whole composition you can go on and take a look at the before and after and also using everything we've learned i went on to max out the whole subject and change the background something you can easily do but not to waste your time and make the video unnecessarily too long and boring we stop at this point happy to be part of your creative journey see you in another amazing video